So you can sit there and just do 10 and twos. You can also load it on both sides. So each time you will do this low swing, this launch, to pull the mace back into orbit and letting it swing back to the opposite side. Let me show you. Again, chest up. You're going to lift and elevate, release over your side, and now your bottom hand is going to free and then catch on the opposite side, okay? So a good rule of thumb in general is that bottom hand catches. That certainly applies here. So as I come here now with my right hand, I'm going to come back, launch. My right joins my left. My left is my bottom, so then it's going to come up and catch and pull it back down. Bottom hand catch, bottom hand catch, bottom hand catch. And you're just gonna keep doing this. This is the first part to working through it. And of course, when you're comfortable, you can also just hang out here and do regular old 10 and twos as well. Both of these movements are gonna help you to get an understanding for how the mace swings past your body and how to make sure that you're on top of it as it gets deeper and deeper into its swing. More momentum is generated and your body is working with that nice, tall posture. 